Imagine two rival gangs. Think West Side Story. Let's call them the Eagles and the Bears. For years, these gangs have threatened one another with giant bazookas. Each side warns that they'll destroy their rivals with bazookas if they're attacked, so an uneasy standoff exists. But the Eagles think that they've found a solution to this stalemate, giving their gang pistols. One day, during an argument, one of the Eagles pulls out a pistol and kills one of the bears. But the Eagles aren't worried, because the bears will surely retaliate with guns, not bazookas, right? That is the unpredictable situation in which we find ourselves today with nuclear weapons. For decades, the United States and Russia have pointed their massive nuclear arsenals at one another, restrained only by the threat of mutually assured destruction. However, some believe that our nukes could play a different role. Instead of nuclear weapons being used strategically to prevent an attack, they believe that nuclear weapons could be used to actively fight battles, kind of like really big artillery. Nukes designed for warfighting purposes are called tactical nuclear weapons, and they are currently being built and deployed by both Russia and the US in increasing numbers. Proponents of tactical nukes say they provide us with more flexible warfighting options. And sure, flexibility sounds great until you realize they're talking about the flexibility to start a nuclear war. Tactical nukes are tools. And once you've created a tool, you're gonna look for ways to use it. What makes tactical nuclear weapons uniquely dangerous is that they lower the stigma of nuclear use. Once you've opened Pandora's toolbox, even just a crack, there's no guarantee you can close it again. Supporters believe if we used tactical nukes on the battlefield, the enemy would respond proportionately. But once you've thrown the dice, there's no telling how they'll land. Even a single nuclear strike could escalate into a full-scale nuclear war. To add to the confusion, some lower-yield tactical nuclear warheads are being installed on the same missiles that deliver larger strategic warheads. And there's no way of knowing which is which until it detonates. There's no flashing sign telling your enemy, no worries, it's just a baby nuke. And don't be fooled. While tactical nuclear weapons are typically less powerful than their larger strategic cousins, even the smallest tactical warhead is still hundreds of times more destructive than the largest conventional weapon in the US arsenal. And that's not even considering the radioactive fallout. At the end of the day, a tactical nuclear weapon is a nuclear weapon. And if either side starts a nuclear war, we all lose. To learn what we can do, listen to the At The Brink podcast and subscribe to this channel.